Hey, welcome to a new video. Considering the frightening fact that we barely explored the oceans, it's a bad idea to rule out the existence of the Megalodon. Especially when we look at numerous incidents that suggest this sea creature may still be swimming in our oceans. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. Number 30. In 1986, Frank Mundus and Donnie Brodick made headlines by catching a massive great white shark weighing 3,428 pounds, or 1,555 kilograms. The record catch took place off the coast between Montauk and Block Island. However, the capture of the shark was surrounded by controversy. Some claimed that Frank and Donnie had hit the shark with a harpoon instead of catching it with a rod. However, there are those who say that this shark was so large that it could possibly be a descendant of the Megalodon. The size of the shark was suspiciously large for a regular shark, and it was no small feat to catch it. According to the story, they found the great white shark at the moment it was feeding on a dead whale. According to the men, they fought it for several hours before they were finally able to get it on board their boat. Number 29. Google Earth is the ultimate tool to explore the world, and many people use it to discover places and things. This handy invention has captured some mysterious and unusual images over the years, including crop circles, ghost towns, and unexplainable geological formations. Someone was snooping around on Google Earth in 2017 and discovered a gigantic shark in the water. Although it may be possible to see large sea animals, such as whales, on Google Earth, it's unlikely that you would encounter a megalodon. Some people say that this is probably fake, and a shark can never be that big. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Number 28. Imagine this. You're on a boat in the middle of the night. You hear a deafening splash. You look up and see the body of a whale rising in the air. Before it falls down again, you see the jaws of a gigantic shark. But I see you thinking, what exactly happened here? When a whale comes to the surface to breathe, it becomes a vulnerable target for a predator like a megalodon. While the whale is coming up, the megalodon would likely be lurking underwater, waiting for the right moment to strike. As the megalodon reached the water's surface, it would have opened its massive jaws and clamped down on the body of the whale. And the whale would probably have been powerless to defend itself against this enormous predator. Could it be true that this video shows the moment of a megalodon grabbing a whale out of the water? What do you think? Number 27. David George Steed was a renowned ichthyologist in Australia who was highly respected for his contributions to marine biology. David was known for unmasking a sighting of a gigantic sea monster that could potentially have been the Megalodon. He also has a reputation as the founder of the Wildlife Preservation Society of Australia, and so he was a very trustworthy person. In 1918, he heard of a story from a fisherman in Port Stephens in New South Wales about an encounter with a shark that was between 115 and 300 feet, or 35 and 92 meters long. David believed that this could possibly have been a living megalodon. The man's credibility gave way to the possibility that megalodons, previously considered extinct, might still be living in the oceans. The story told by David becomes the basis for the claims of cryptozoologists that megalodons still exist. After a book was published recounting David's story, several reports of giant sharks were made in the Pacific Ocean in the 1920s and 1930s, which were subsequently associated with megalodons. Number 26. The next story is about an 85 foot or 26 meter long ship that experienced engine problems near the Great Barrier Reef in Australia in the 1960s. According to the story, the men on board have observed an immense shark. An author named B.C. Cartmel wrote a book about it in 1978, called Let's Go Fossil Shark Tooth Hunting. Although the men on the ship did not publicly report their sighting for fear of not being believed, they later told friends about the sighting, describing the creature as whitish in color and longer than the boat. The story has led to speculation about what creature it might have been. Some researchers have suggested that the creature was a megalodon. Remember, the megalodon is not a myth, but a real shark, proven by countless fossilized teeth and bones found all over the world. The sighting of the shark off the coast of Australia underscores the mystery and fascination of the ocean. And who knows, maybe the story's true, and these men actually saw a megalodon in the water in 1960. Number 25. Imagine what the world would look like if there were still a whole bunch of aggressive, super-large marine predators swimming in our oceans. How many people would be then hunting these fish? However, if the megalodon was still to exist, then a man named Vic Hislop would have caught one. 
On November 6, 1987, this Australian shark hunter made history by catching a huge white shark that was over 20 feet or 6.1 meters long. According to some people, this white shark could have been a baby megalodon. Vic caught this shark at Phillip Island in Victoria, Australia, and this achievement earned him a place in the Guinness World Records. However, the man was a controversial figure known for his aggressive approach to shark hunting. He called himself a shark hunter and made a name for himself by catching hundreds of sharks, including great whites. Despite the controversy surrounding his methods, his record catch attracted worldwide attention. In this video, we even see him catching a shark with his bare hands, which became an iconic achievement in the history of shark hunting. Number 24 in Australia, researchers were conducting a study on great white sharks, and they had tagged a 10-foot or 3-meter long shark to track its movements. However, four months later, the tracking device washed up on a beach, with data revealing a shocking story. The information recorded on the device showed a rapid temperature rise from 7.6 degrees Celsius to 25.5 degrees Celsius. Then the tracker indicated that the tagged shark took a sudden sharp dive to a greater depth. Researchers suggest that the shark might have been eaten by something much larger. Since then, it has raised many questions about what could have killed a great white shark of that size. Researchers concluded that the temperature measurements suggest that the shark had entered the digestive system of another animal, sparking speculation about the identity of the other predator. Some researchers think a megalodon ate the great white shark and took it to a greater depth. Number 23. After watching hours of footage, these researchers thought they might have captured a gigantic megalodon on camera. According to them, the megalodon is deliberately hiding behind the dive cage, and they are smarter than we thought. These researchers named the shark submarine, and as we can see, the length of the shark is enormous. However, this wasn't the only time the shark was captured on camera. In this video, we see a gigantic shark swimming past a boat, thought to possibly be the megalodon. Scientists have studied the fossil record and analyzed the behavior of modern sharks to gain insight into the hunting strategies of the megalodon. While there's still much to learn about these creatures, scientists believe that the megalodon used a combination of hunting techniques to catch its prey. One of the most likely hunting strategies employed by the megalodon was the ambush method. This involves the shark hiding and waiting for the prey to swim past before attacking, as clearly seen in this video. Number 22. If you see the shark in this photo, you're probably wondering, who or what must have been so big to take a bite out of this shark? Some people think that the culprit might have been a megalodon. The massive bite wound on this white shark was found in the waters off the coast of New South Wales, Australia. Sharks that have been bitten in half are found often, and each time it raises even more questions. When you see this bite mark, it really makes you question yourself. The size of the bite wound has led experts to speculate that it was caused by an even larger predator. Scientists say that thanks to these finds, they can provide valuable information about the behavior of these sharks. Number 21. The HMS Challenger was a British naval ship converted into a scientific research vessel for an expedition commissioned by the Royal Society of London. The expedition, which lasted from 1872 to 1876, was the first global ocean survey and covered a distance of about 53,000 miles, or 69,000 kilometers. During the expedition, the crew collected a massive amount of data, including water samples, sediment samples, and other specimens of marine life. One of the most significant discoveries the HMS Challenger made was in 1875, when the crew brought up several megalodon teeth from a depth of 14,000 feet, or 4,300 meters, near Tahiti. The teeth were about 4 inches, or 10 centimeters long, and were later identified as belonging to this giant shark species. The tooth that was found, however, changed the thinking of scientists about the megalodon. They thought it was a predator in the open water, but after the discovery by the HMS Challenger, megalodons appeared to be more like great white sharks. The discovery of these specific megalodon teeth were important because it suggested that the giant shark might still be swimming in the deep ocean. Number 20. Kayaking is an adventure for many people who love water, but what would you do if you were kayaking and suddenly there's a giant shark swimming below you? It's unknown where this was filmed, but the people who were aboard the cruise ship tried to warn the man. According to experts who watched the video, a kayak would be about 4.3 meters in size, which means the giant shark was 12.8 meters in size. This is many times larger than the 5 to 6 meter average length of a great white shark. So could this possibly be a megalodon that was captured on camera here? Unfortunately, we'll never really know. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. 
Number 19. If you ever hesitate to step into a shark cage, don't look at this next video footage. We see a diving cage that seems to have sunk deep into the ocean, and suddenly a shark swims by that appears to have a massive length. This raises the question of which extinct animal fits this description. The megalodon is considered one of the largest predators that has ever existed, and it's probably used different hunting strategies. The hunting methods can vary depending on the size and type of prey it was hunting. You'd better hope that this diving cage was quickly raised before the occupants could see the strategies with their own eyes. Unfortunately, we couldn't determine whether this is official video footage or whether it was created with digital animation. Maybe it's a movie, or maybe these people actually managed to capture a gigantic shark on camera. If the video footage was real, how big do you estimate the length of the shark? Number 18. The following video is both fascinating and terrifying. The giant shark was filmed by a submarine at a depth of a thousand feet off the northeast coast of Malaka, Hawaii. When people first saw this shark, they thought that this was a megalodon. But experts say this is a six-gill shark, also called the Hexenchus. This is a deep-sea shark of which there are three different species. However, experts don't know what kind of shark the one in the video was. But one thing's for sure, it's so big that even the researchers cannot believe it. It has not been determined if this is an adult or if it's still a youngster. But there were also those who claimed that this was a modern-day megalodon, because of the size of the fish. Whatever it is exactly, to encounter this shark in a submarine must be terrifying, don't you think? Number 17. This video footage was recorded off the coast of South Africa on April 5th, 2013, when a group aboard a fishing boat had an encounter with a megalodon. According to the story, the megalodon had stalked them for a long time, attracted by the sound of the boat or their fishing activities. The megalodon came close to the boat and managed to grab one of their fishing lines. Then the roles of the hunter and prey quickly reversed. A few hours of rest on the boat was all that was granted before their lives were turned upside down. The man would have hooked the megalodon for a fraction of a second, but then the megalodon sank the boat and chaos ensued. Initially, a news reporter said that it was a whale that caused the boat to sink. Although certain events in this video are dramatized, others say it could have been a gigantic shark. Number 16. Here we see an old photo from 1942, supposedly taken on December 18th in Cape Town, South Africa. This photo shows a gigantic fin near German U-boats. It's said that the photos have been discovered in old Nazi archives. A German U-boat would be about 65 meters. Experts estimated that the shark's fin to its tail is about 20 meters. So by putting these measurements together, they think that the shark should have been an incredible 30 meters long. This should mean that the megalodon was gigantic. Of course, many people were skeptical about the authenticity of the photo. According to some, the photo was edited, while others wondered why the photo did not come to light until years later. Number 15. In August 2021, a team of scientists reported the discovery of a fossil of an ancient sperm whale in the coal mine of Victoria, Australia. The fossil was estimated to be over 25 million years old and showed evidence of a brutal attack by a giant shark. The fossil showed deep grooves and bite marks on the skull and jaw, indicating that the sperm whale had been attacked by a predator with teeth over 3.5 inches or 9 centimeters long. The scientists identified the creature and believe it was most likely a gigantic megalodon. The fossil of the ancient sperm whale is important because it provides evidence of the interactions between megalodons and their prey. It's believed that megalodons ate a variety of sea animals, including whales, dolphins, and seals. The discovery of the sperm whale fossil suggests that these sharks were even able to overpower the largest and most formidable of prey. The tooth fragment also provided valuable info about the size and anatomy of the megalodon. Its teeth were larger than a human hand, and a jaw that could open up 6.5 feet or 2 meters wide. Who knows, sperm whales may still have battles with megalodons today. Do you believe this? Let me know in the comments. Number 14. The following video footage is from the Shark Week documentary in which a marine biologist investigates the life of sharks in the oceans and sees if the megalodon is still alive. Hundreds of underwater cameras were installed on the sea floor to map the ocean life. Some of the cameras were broadcast live and people could watch in real time. At one point, something was captured on camera. At first glance, they saw something big swimming by but didn't know what it was. When they looked back at the video footage, they saw a huge shark fin. After studying this, they concluded that the shark must have been an incredible 18 meters in size. 
this would possibly mean that it was a megalodon. Number 13. In this next video, we see at first glance what looks like a normal yet terrifying shark. A sight that would scare any swimmer is a fin sticking out of the water. But the fin in this video is no ordinary fin. If we were to see only the fin of a megalodon millions of years ago, it would probably look very similar to the fins of modern sharks. The dorsal fin of a megalodon would be high and triangular, with a distinctive shape that would make it immediately recognizable as a shark. If we are to believe the person who filmed this video footage, we are seeing a real megalodon swimming through the water here. The body of a megalodon would be streamlined and muscular, with a large, powerful tail that would propel it through the water at high speeds. A fin sticking out of the water is already pretty creepy, with a shark of an average length. But what about a megalodon fin? Could this video be proof that the megalodon still lives? Number 12. If you haven't heard about Deep Blue, I'm gonna tell you now. Deep Blue is the largest white shark ever captured on camera. The shark is said to be 7 meters long and was first seen by a researcher named Mariko Hoyos Padilla in Mexico. Deep Blue became very popular and was featured on Discovery Channel Shark Week. The shark has a scrape on its right side that makes researchers recognize it quickly. Despite the frightening stories you might have heard about sharks, Deep Blue is very calm. What is perhaps even more fascinating is that some people think she's not an ordinary shark, but rather a baby megalodon. Number 11. Imagine someone's reaction when they blinked and suddenly, for a fraction of a second, saw a gigantic shark on the screen in front of them. The Atlantic Shark Institute recently reported a mysterious discovery during a research trip that had piqued interest in the shark community. They were shocked when what appeared to be a massive 50-foot or 15-meter-long megalodon showed up on their sea scanners. According to their Instagram post, the shark had appeared for a few minutes in unspecified waters. They couldn't confirm the identity of the creature, but the shape and size matched descriptions of the megalodon. The Atlantic Shark Institute emphasizes the importance of ongoing efforts to study and protect sharks in our oceans. They hope that one day they can find more evidence about the megalodon. Number 10. In this video, several Japanese researchers allegedly put bait on the bottom of the Marianas Trench to see what came up. At first, only some larger fish came to it, but then, suddenly, a giant shark comes into view. Based on its size, the researchers estimated that the creature was 15 meters long. Could this be the proof that the megalodon still exists? Some people were convinced, while others said that this was a Pacific sleeper shark. Although this shark is normally 4 to 6 meters long, the shark in this video is a lot bigger. This shark is also said to live at depths of 2,000 meters. Who knows, maybe a megalodon is also hiding at these depths. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Number 9. The Lord of the Deep is a sea creature shrouded in mystery and legend, said to inhabit the waters of Polynesia. Its existence, however, remains unproven, with few and rare sightings of this creature. The available reports, however, paint the picture of a huge alien beast that defies any explanation. One such sighting took place in 1918, when a huge white shark reportedly rammed into an Australian dock, leading some to speculate that this was the famous Lord of the Deep. Although legends describe the sea creature as being up to 10 feet or 30 meters long, more recent sightings suggest that it might have been even bigger. It's said that the sea creature is green or yellow with white spots, although the famous 1980 sighting described it as white. What makes the Lord of the Deep so intriguing is the belief that it could be a living megalodon. And not just any megalodon, but a megalodon that might have a genetic mutation. Number 8. According to several reports, a megalodon is washed up on the beach of Long Island in Australia. People estimate the length of this shark to be between 8 and 12 meters. However, when authorities arrived in the area, the shark had suddenly disappeared. Perhaps the shark somehow managed to get into the water. But the strange thing is that to this day, no one knows what happened to the shark. Other people claim that this was not a megalodon, but a basking shark. These fish, like whales, are said to feed on plankton. But the shark is really gigantic, and the story that it just disappeared is very strange. Could this have been a megalodon after all? Number 7. The following story tells about a father and son who were pursued by megalodons in the early 1900s. There's also been reports of massive sharks in the southern and northern parts of the Pacific Ocean, as well as in the Caribbean Sea, believed to be related to the megalodon. One of the most well-known sightings of these gigantic sharks was described by Zane Gray in his book Tales of Tahitian Waters. 
According to Zane, while sailing near the French Polynesian island of Rangora in 1927 or, in 1927 or 1928, he encountered a huge shark that he couldn't identify. The shark was longer than his boat and had a squared head, with very large pectoral fins and a green-yellow body with white spots. Zane's son, Lauren, also claimed to have seen the huge shark when he accompanied his father. Lauren described the shark as at least 40 to 50 feet, or 12 to 15 meters long. He was sure that the sea creature wasn't a whale shark, and claimed that its appearance was preceded by abnormal behavior of birds above the water's surface. Number 6. The Brazilian Coast Guard was reportedly on a rescue mission on November 20th, 2012, when they suddenly saw a giant shark swimming by. To this day, discussions are still going on about what exactly was captured on camera here. We can clearly see that the creature has shark-like shapes and looks gigantic. Several people say that this video is from a Discovery documentary and claim that it may be fake. However, the oceans are only 5% explored, so it's quite possible that giant sea monsters still exist. Some sources claim that if this was a real megalodon, it might have been 18 meters long. Number 5. At first glance, this seems like a massive oil spill, but when you zoom in and then zoom in further, you see something alarming. This photo was taken by NASA and was released to the public in August 2014. A person from the NASA team decided to analyze the satellite image when he suddenly appeared to see a gigantic shark measuring 69 feet or 21 meters long. The photo was supposedly taken by Sao Paulo, the largest city in Brazil, about 43.5 miles or 70 kilometers off the coast. Although there's been reports of shark sightings in the waters off the coast of Sao Paulo, people are skeptical about a shark of this size. In recent years, only a few shark attacks have been reported in Brazil. But maybe there could be something bigger and more vicious lurking in the waters. After all, the ocean is only 10% explored, so who knows what creatures are still swimming around today. Number 4. When I saw this following video of a giant shark, I had to add it to this list. The hosts of the Australian Today Show were perplexed after seeing the video footage. Experts think that this is most likely a common great white shark, but some say this may be a baby megalodon. The marine researchers came in the news because they were working on new technologies to learn more about sharks. Unfortunately, I couldn't find exactly how big this shark was, but this proves that giant creatures still live in our oceans. The male host even claimed that he will never go into the water again after seeing this video footage. Of course, you can't blame him because this shark looked bigger than the average length of a great white shark. Number 3. Imagine you're part of the Coast Guard and you're called to investigate something suspicious. Never in a million years would you expect to arrive at the scene of an incident and see a megalodon washed up on the beach. This incident reportedly took place on a South African beach on August 5, 2013. The shark, which was dramatically stranded far from its home, lies on its back on the beach. Thanks to a South African Coast Guard commander in a helicopter, the shark was captured on camera. The video shows two military trucks standing next to the shark, leading people to estimate that the shark could be as long as 100 feet or 30 meters. According to recent findings, megalodons have also been closer to the coast than we previously thought. If this video footage actually showed a beached megalodon, what did they do with the remains? Has the government hidden them? Or are they now being studied? We have no idea. Number 2. Welcome to the Sea of Cortez, home to incredibly diverse marine ecosystems, including numerous shark species. The sharks you can find here are white sharks, whale sharks, hammerhead sharks, and apparently also megalodons. In 2008, there were reports of super aggressive and incredibly large sharks ruling the sea. According to reports, the shark in question would be 39 to 59 feet, or 12 to 18 meters long, which is twice the size of the white shark. But this shark had a deep black color, large eyes, and extremely predatory nature. The locals called the creature the Black Demon. Eyewitness testimony suggested that this animal was extremely aggressive and was responsible for the mysterious death of various marine animals in the area. Given the alleged size, appearance, and behavior, some have speculated that this creature could be a megalodon. A documentary even examined the sightings and testimonies of the black demon and interviewed fishermen and scientists who claimed to have seen the creature. Number 1. In 2017, a photo went viral of a giant shark that many people thought was a megalodon. 
After doing some research, I found a video claiming that a prince from Dubai is trying to bring back the extinct Megalodon. Apparently, this news was also published on several credible news outlets. It was told that the prince of Dubai would be working to bring the shark back to life, using DNA from excavated fossils. According to several scientists, this might be possible, but to date, it has not happened. This photo eventually turned out to be an enlarged white shark that had been photoshopped. But imagine if researchers brought back the Megalodon. Do you think that would be a good idea? Do you believe that the Megalodon could still be alive? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos we've made, click one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.